welcome back to this channel my name is felix from farm Amelio, and i'm excited to be presenting to you on this very important topic today we are talking about the alternative sources of feed you can use for catfish and tilapia but also the effective use of these alternative sources the knowledge is there that i mean you can use dark wheat you can use azola dark wheat you can use uh, bsf larvae um, that's a maggot you can use the earthworms and the likes um, to cut down your cost of production which is very crucial and true but if not done right you may rather run into problems so in this video i just want to share with you our experience using dark wheat on the farm and some of the issues we're running to and more importantly also then what worked best for us the solutions that we came up with so stick with me to the end because we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of all these alternative feed sources and how we we overcame the cons to get more profits for our catfish business right here in Ghana but back with at best are not alternative source of it they should be supplementary source of it if you feed your fish just dark weeds the quantity of dark weeds required okay just to meet let's say 15 kg bag of feed it's so voluminous that you may need a lot of surface area in your pond to meet the demand so we use dark weeds as supplementary feed and how do we do this the best way in our experience is that before you introduce your fingerlings into the pond, you make sure that you grow dark weeds to cover the entire surface of the pond. Now, when dark weed covers the entire surface of your pond, what it does is that it may cause oxygen deprivation in your pond. When oxygen deprivation in your pond occur, your fingerlings will have stunted growth. So while you have the need to use the alternative source of feed, you should also consider the possibility of having a stunted growth in your pond. You basically just need to introduce some aerators at least a week or so to the introduction of your fingerlings to get the oxygen levels to optimal level before you introduce your fingerlings. If you don't, you may end up having your fingerlings dying. Okay, so what we do is that we go ahead anyway, grow the dark weeds while we are hatching our fingerlings we grow the dark weeds all over the pond and then a week to the introduction of our fingerlings we put the aerators in the pond to get the oxygen levels back to optimal levels before we introduce our fingerlings now when you introduce the fingerlings at that stage you realize that your dark weeds are providing ready available nutrition for the fingerlings so they'll be able to eat the dark weeds while you're also putting in the commercial feed as a combined feed formulation yes so the dark weeds are on top and then each feed, feeding section you go and put your uh, you're going to feed your fingerlings with the 2 mm or whatever size of feed you are using at the time you're going to give it to them when you do that there will be less cannibalism because they already have feed 24 7 and the dark weeds grow quickly so at the fingerling stage the dark weeds may be outgrowing the weight at which the fingerlings are eating them so you may not see a decline but after a month or two you notice that the dark weeds have disappeared from the surface of your pond yes your catfish fingerlings have consumed the entire um, that quiz that you have there. So it's a competition. The rate of growth and the rate of consumption. The catfish rate of consumption exceeds the rate of reproduction of the dark weed. So roughly after one uh, month, one and two, that's what happens. So if you want to continue using dark weeds, you need a spare pond on the site that you fetch to feed them. However, if you depend on dark weeds alone for catfish production, you may end up going to month 9 or even 10 or even 1 year just to get 1 kg of catfish because the volumes of the volumes of dark weeds that you need to make up for even 15 kg worth of commercial feed, it's so enormous that we felt on our site, we felt that it wasn't feasible on a larger scale. Okay, so that is why we moved on to the next alternative, which is the black soldier fly production. The black soldier fly larvae are a very good source of protein as comparative to even fish meal using commercial feed production. 
However, the thing with Black Cedar Fly usage is that you should know that the commercial feed you are buying has proteins, carbohydrates, fat and oil, some vitamins, and in some cases, some hormones in there. So you cannot just switch entirely to the use of black soda fly larvae for your farm. Some farmers do it, but we don't think that's the best for your fish. And in our experience, if you mix the black soda fly with the commercial feed, you get the best results. However, you can even go a step further by just getting your black soda fly, the larvae, you dry them, and then you could even just grind them into powder and mix it with a carbohydrate sauce and create your own feed. Um, by setting up a facility that produced the black cedar fly larvae for us, we were able to produce at least 10 tons of fish by spending just around 40,000 Ghana cities. And um, that is a huge, huge, huge save because currently with the cost of commercial feed, the cheapest one that we have in the market, averaging around 250 CDs, you will need about 800 bucks of that to, to produce um, 10,000 fingerlings of catfish to table size. And 800 times 800 times 250, that is 200,000 Ghana cities. You will need 200,000 Ghana cities to just produce, um, to just produce 10,000 fingerlings of catfish if you are depending on commercial feed and we're able to do that with a combination of the dark wheat and um, black cedar fly we're able to just use around just 40,000 Ghana cities to do that Most of the matter is that you could actually use less than 50,000 Ghana cities to produce 10,000 fingerlings of catfish from the fingerling stage to table size that is at least one kg each. Okay, so you are cutting down your expenditure all the way from 200,000 Ghana cities for the 10,000 fingerlings estimation that I did to 50,000. Okay, so that is how you make money in catfish farming in Ghana. You utilize alternative feed sources and you bring your cost down to less than 30%. You see, because the market now is saturated with people trying to sell their products at a much cheaper price and they're able to do that and outcompete you because they have cheaper ways of production okay currently with the price of um, commercial feed you should sell your catfish not a kilogram of catfish even at wholesale at not less than 40 Ghana cities but even now we have Farmers frantically calling us, even willing to sell their product at 20 cities, 25 cities. And why? Because when you depend on commercial feed and you reach month five, the consumptions are huge. And it is at that point the fish or the catfish need more of the feed to continue their exponential growth. But it is also the point that most farmers run into trouble. And when they run into trouble like that, they are looking for every means possible. To cut down and just dispose the fishes and get whatever they could get out of it if you are, you are serious about catfish farming and you won't produce anything above ten thousand even five thousand fingerlings i would recommend that you look at these alternative sources very well especially the bsa uh, black soda fly larvae production and so that you can make good money from there in the coming videos, we're going to be showing you how we do it on our farm. I know there are several ways to do these things out there, but what I'll be showing is what has worked for us on our farm right here in Ghana. So if such a thing interests you, I would like you to subscribe and hit the notification icon. Help this channel grow, share the video, let people get to know that the way out is there, but you got to be willing to put in the work. It's not just about getting a pond some fingerlings and throwing feed at them there's an art to the whole thing if you're patient enough and willing to learn you'll make a lot of money from this business i hope to see you in the next video and now um, leave your comments and let's see how best we can help you